So it's no secret that for a while now, I have preferred to play on the PC. I've made videos stating why, if you're on the fence about getting a PC or a console, why I personally would recommend going for the PC. And I could come up with a BuzzFeed list of reasons for why PC is better than consoles. I could throw out convincing counter arguments for almost every point made about why somebody would prefer consoles. And, you know, I have made those videos in the past and probably will again at some point because there's a lot of misconceptions out there about PC gaming. But I also completely understand why some people would prefer consoles. And I think that if you can't understand why people would prefer consoles, then you probably can't call yourself objective. You know, why do some people prefer dark hair over blondes? Why is Apple still selling iPods when people could play their music on their iPhones or, you know, on iPads? Uh, why do people prefer Picasso over Michelangelo? The simple answer is because they just fucking do. <laughs> like, really. Like, some people don't need or want all the extra bells and whistles that come with playing on PC. They don't care about rock tessellation. They don't care about ultra settings. They don't care about being in control of their gaming experience and would just like their games served to them on a simple-to-use, standard platform, easy platter. And they just have one sign-in for all their games. They have one tool to use for chatting and social interactions. Uh, they don't have to set up key bindings, worry about updating their components. They just want to press the fucking power button and play. And that's it. They prefer it. And what is it to you if somebody prefers that? Or somebody prefers something else that's not what you prefer. Like, it, it really doesn't impact you at all. It doesn't hurt you. It does absolutely nothing to you. Uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I was out looking to buy a new car. Because in my last video, I mentioned I wanted to get rid of the Jeep because I didn't feel like it was the safest vehicle in the world to transport my expanding family in. Uh, so I was at the dealership, and I'm looking around, and I see two different cars. I loved the look of these cars. They were the exact same make, the exact same model. They were the exact same color on the outside. So if you were just looking at them from the outside, you couldn't tell a difference. They both would drive you from point A to point B. One car was a year older. It had 20,000 more miles on it. And it was actually more expensive. And I'm like, why is a car that's older and has got more miles on it, why is that more expensive? So I sat down, I drove both of them. The more expensive car, the older one, it had, man, it had everything that, that you could dream of. Like, it had a badass dashboard. It had dual climate control, so she could control her temperature on the, her side of the car. I could control mine. Um, it had uh, leather seating on the inside. It had heating and cooling seats. It had a backup camera. Like, it, it had all the extra bells and whistles. It was super nice. I even felt like it was a little bit better on the road. Like, it seemed a little bit quieter. It had just a really good, smooth ride on it. The cheaper vehicle was newer. It only had 60,000 miles on it. it, had cloth seats, nice dashboard, but not nearly as fancy as the other one. No dual climate control, just regular AC, no heated or cooling seats. It was just your standard vehicle. It was nice, it just didn't have all the niceties that the other vehicle had. And so me and my wife were sitting there contemplating, you know, which one should we get? And I'm telling her, you know, man, I really loved... The more expensive car, I like all the extra features of it, but the truth is, how often would we really use that? Like, do we really need leather seats? Do we really need dual climate control? Because we don't even argue about the temperature as it is right now. And, and so all these extra features were stuff that me and her, we really just didn't need. And so we don't drive a whole lot of miles. Everything's close by to us, so the furthest drive that we usually have during the day is just to go get something to eat. So in the end, we went with a cheaper one because it met all my needs. It had everything that I needed on it. It didn't have any of the extra bells and whistles, but I wasn't looking for that. And so to me, I don't think that's a whole lot different than people who just want to play on consoles. 
And, you know, me personally, consoles oftentimes don't meet my needs. That's why I say that I prefer the PC because I like to be in control of my setup. I like being able to upgrade parts if I'm focused on something um, like frames per second. Like I prefer 60 plus frames per second in gaming. Some people don't care. So I, I get that some people don't need all that extra stuff. And also, you don't really need a list in order to convince people if that is what you prefer. Like, you don't need to come up with a list of reasons why console is better than the PC. It's okay to just say, you know what? This is just what I prefer, just because I do. You know, play on what you enjoy and screw anybody who tries to give you grief for it. You know, if somebody is upset because you prefer Xbox over PC or PlayStation or you prefer Nintendo or whatever, like, who cares? That's their problem. <laughs> That's not yours, you know? Um, there, there is something psychologically wrong with somebody who gets upset because you have a different opinion, especially when it comes to just the piece of plastic, you know, that you like. Um, you know, there's a reason why AAA games have, or, or not all, but several AAA games have a bigger player base on consoles than PC. There's a reason why millions of consoles are sold every year. And it's because there's a lot of people who prefer to play on consoles. And it's as simple as that. You don't really need to know any other reason why. And so there is still a desire to just plug in and play. And that is not going away anytime soon. So again, if you can't figure out why, uh, you, you can't understand, can't comprehend why somebody would prefer or enjoy playing on console, then don't call yourself objective because you're not. It's just what they prefer, man. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh.